Last week, you were given the choice to vote between two functional equations, and this is the one that you voted for. In today's video, we are going to discover all the functions f that are differentiable at zero and verify the equation f of x plus y is equal to f of x times e to the y plus f of y times e to the x. A common first step with functional equations is to try to identify the value of the function at a specific value. For example, let's find the value of f of 0. First, we have f of 0, which is equal to f of 0 plus 0, which is equal to f of 0 times e to the 0, plus f of 0 e 0, which is equal to 2 f of 0 because e to the 0 is equal to 1. Altogether, this implies that f of 0 is equal to 2 f of 0. In other words, f of 0 is equal to 0. So this was the first step, and as a second step, we are going to show that f is differentiable everywhere, and not just at 0. Doing this might give us a new interesting equation to work with. Now, recall that saying that f is differentiable at a, a real number, means that by definition that the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h exists. And we note it as f prime a. Let a be a real number. We can write f of a plus h minus f of a all over h, and this is equal to f of a times e to the h plus f of h e to the a minus f of a all over h. And this is equal to f of a e to the h minus f of a all over h plus f of h over h times e to the a. And this is then equal to f of a times e to the h minus 1 over h plus f of h minus f of 0 all over h times e to the a. And you'll notice here that I added in this term, and this is because f of 0 is equal to 0. Notice that the limit of e to the h minus 1 over h is equal to the derivative of the exponential at 0, which is equal to e to the 0, which is equal to 1. And because f is supposed to be differentiable at 0, the limit of f of h minus f of 0 divided by h exists, and we are going to note that limit as a. Therefore, the limit of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h exists, and we can note it as f prime of a is equal to f of a plus a e to the a. In conclusion, f is differentiable everywhere, and for any value of x, we can write f prime of x is equal to f of x plus a e to the power of x. Going further, we can show that f is infinitely differentiable, also called c infinity. Indeed, f prime is equal to f plus a times an exponential. f is continuous because differentiable. Exponential is continuous. Therefore, f prime is continuous, which means that f is c1. By induction, this means that f is c infinity. Note that we showed that f is a solution of the differential equation f prime minus f is equal to a times e to the x, 
So let's solve this differential equation to identify f, and this is going to be our fourth step. If we multiply this differential equation by e to the negative x on both sides, we have f prime of x times e to the negative x minus f of x times e to the negative x is equal to a. We recognize the identity u v prime is equal to u prime v plus u v prime. Therefore, d over dx of f of x times e to the negative x is equal to a, and f of x times e to the negative x is equal to a x plus b, b being a constant of integration. In other words, f of x is equal to a x plus b times e to the x. And if you remember from earlier that f of 0 is equal to 0, uh, this implies that b e to the 0 is equal to b, which is equal to 0. Finally, we have f of x is equal to a x times e to the x. Now let's verify that this function is a solution of the functional equation. We have f of x plus y is equal to a times x plus y e to the x plus y is equal to a times x times e to the x plus y plus a y e to the x plus y. And this is equal to a x times e to the x times e to the y plus a y e to the y e to the x, which is equal to f of x e to the y plus f of y e to the x, which is the functional equation we introduced at the beginning. In conclusion, we can say that all solutions of the functional equation f of x plus y is equal to f of x e to the y plus f of y e to the x are the functions that map x to a x e to the x for any real number a. Thank you for watching this video and please let me know what you think in the comments below.